field has had two applications of turf formula, four months old, semi-dwarf fescue, and will be harvested in about two weeks. This is turf fescue, which as everybody knows, is hard to get dense enough to make sod. But it's a real popular turf, which demands a higher price because of it. This is four months old turf fescue, seeded at a normal rate of 10 pounds per thousand square feet. This will be ready to harvest in two weeks. This has had one application of turf formula, same age as this field. You can't see any cedar tracks. It's already filling in. As you can see, here's the dividing line in my fields. See the dark, rich color at the two application rate, the thickness of the grass? Here's at one application rate. You know, it's more de dead leaf matter because of the heat stress. Not as dense. Not as dark a color, and that's at one application. It's still better than none, which I'm going to show you next. Believe me, folks, when you see this next crop that hasn't had any turf formula, there won't be any doubt left in your mind what to use. Okay, let me get this straight. You're saying that you've got a 40 foot section here that you did not put turf formula on. Correct. And this is why you're saying you can see the seed uh, seeding tracks down there. Uh -huh. So roughly right about in here is where you started putting the turf formula on. Uh -huh. And you went that way and then we got another test over there with a double application. Right. This has had no turf formula. The seed rows are still apparent and the growth is way behind. Same amount of fertilizer on the whole field. On the whole field. Without turf formula, you can still see the definite cedar rows, the yellowing because of the heat stress. The blades aren't as wide or as dark or as thick. It's just, it's just phenomenal, folks. Believe me, if, I'd ha if I had went ahead and sprayed this with turf formula, I couldn't have showed you the differences, but I'd also be able to harvest this in two weeks and I won't be holding it for another month or more. But you run out on this area. Or I else ran you out. Would have had it here. Yeah, I ran out of turf formula, and so this field didn't get treated. And now I've got a 40-foot wide strip down the whole length of my field that's probably going to be here come fall because I ain't going to be able to cut it. As Ron has noticed, you'll weeds. notice you'll see a few weeds coming in, and that's because there's still bare dirt showing at the weed time. June and July are your worst two months for weeds. If you've got good dense turf, you're not going to have a weed problem. But because this hasn't filled in as quick, I'm having a little weed problem in this strip. And it's going to cost me more money to get rid of the weeds. It's going to cost me an extra application of fertilizer. And it's going to cost me at least two more applications of turf formula to get it to catch up with the other. I'm hoping that with two applications three weeks apart with turf formula that this might catch up with the other. Two weeks ago, Ron and, and Mike was out, and I showed them this strip of sod that had not had any turf formula. We sprayed it that day with an eight ounce rate of turf formula and 10, ounce, uh, 10 ounces of sugar per thousand. And you can see the result, what two weeks with turf formula will do. You can see the cedar roll two weeks ago, and it's already filling in. And it has had no different care than any other grass other than turf formula was added to this. And the fertilizer and everything was all the same, wasn't all it? All the same. I, I, I can't hardly believe that myself, and I was here yeah. two weeks ago. It makes a it difference. Don't make, it don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, unreal, because this well, stuff looked sick two weeks ago. Two, two weeks ago, the cedar rose was real evident. It was pale. The colors in, improved immensely, and the density and you put the eight ounce rate eight on ounce heavy rate. rate because it was in stress where we it, left here that it day. It was stressed due to the high heat. And this is a roll of grass that's four and a half months old. And we're going to be able to harvest it for less money per square yard than any other time we've ever done. Well, it again, it? Now, you used to tell me that this was 
one of the rhizomes coming off another plant and going uh -huh. to establish a, another Going to growth. establish a new plant. Is that a... Normal activity on rhizome growth is two to three inches. And that one from the mother plant measures about five inches. So you're going to get more knitting, a deeper, denser turf, a healthier turf. I want Michael and you to kind of get a close up of this because you got an inch and a half of rain. Inch laying, and a half of rain. This is laying out night. in the rain. Just look at the difference. I mean, boy, I tell you, you can see where the the roots are in there. And that's less than a four and a half month old. Four month, four and a half month old grass. And it's called what? It's called semi dwarf lawn type fescue. Yeah, the golf courses love it. Now this is where you had shown us earlier this on. Is, yeah, earlier on, ago, a couple weeks ago, this is the two, two applications. applications of turf form at six ounces per thousand. Yeah. But I mean, that's roots. This is more like normal, just a few sticking out of the bottom of the row. This is what I like. Yeah. When you lay this on a new lawn and roll it, it's going to root. <laughs> Last Wednesday, we told a couple of the landscapers we were going to make our test cut in our fescue field. And they couldn't believe it was ready to cut it four and a half months. They came out, we cut the test row. They said, it looks great. And because of turf on it, I'm going to be able to sell $7,000 for fescue sod next week, which I hadn't anticipated selling until September under normal circumstances. Uh, Consequently, I'm going to be able to sell my product quicker, have less labor in it, keeping it mold and sprayed and everything. The turf formula has aided in the control of fungus due to the hot, humid weather we've had the last six weeks. Uh, he uh, was, we met a guy by the name of Ron, Ron Carlisle Carl. from Bolivar Landscape and Irrigation. Uh, he picked some up the day that we was here last. Uh -huh. so what, did, what was his report on it? Uh, last time he was out, uh, we all was out here, we were doing the, looking at the field, and uh, he picked up some turf formula to aid his fungicide on a lawn that we put in in May. And it had took fungus real bad because they had put just a standard fertilizer on it instead of a good quality. And of course it got surge growth, which fungus loves. And uh, he uh, treated it and called me back 10 days later and said that the fungus was, a, was arrested, the lawn was 100% better, and the people were happy. Hmm. And that's the name of the game, keeping your customers happy. Uh, I've got uh, seven landscapers now that is using the turf formula when they install the sod to aid in the rooting and uh, density because the, the, there, there is a, a shock to sod when you cut it loose from where it's been and move it. And uh, this helps eradicate that problem because it tells the grass to continue rooting. And so there's, there's less shock and uh, the transfer of sod from the farm to the homeowner uh, is greatly helped. By this is where we took a, our test cut out Wednesday to show how well the fescue's done on the turf formula. and. Uh, you just come out here just to show, take a small test out. Uh-huh. Yeah, cut the, a test roll to show them that it had the root system. That's that roll we just showed up on trailer, wasn't it? Uh-huh. And as you can see, come right out of the fescue field. This is a field that we use two six-ounce application rates of turf formula on at four and a half months of age. And, uh, and usually it's Eight, nine, eight, ten months? Eight to ten months before we can even think about taking a test cut. And because of this, we're going to sell $7,000 worth of sod next week. That under, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't have anything to sell. Mm. And uh, they were immensely impressed with the root system underneath it. And uh, as you can see, yeah, by this, this is the square that was left off the end of the cut. As you can uh -huh. see, the root system on this stuff. It's thicker than the hair on my head, and I'm jealous. But that's a piece of grass, people. And the fertilizing, the, the weed preventers, the treatment, and everything has been identical as we've always done it for years. 
The only thing we've done different is add the turf formula. And I've cut my growth time in half. And when I can cut something in half, my profit margin is increased quite substantially. That's, that's <laughs> the name of the game. We're all working for that uh, to pay the bills. Yep. And that's doing it, isn't it? It's doing it. And John... Uh, John Brooks, the owner of the farm, is is so impressed that we're talking about putting it in our injection system on our new uh, watering system.